name is Joanne Brandy, and everyone knows I'm a happy crafter. Friends, I'm so excited that you're here with me today. Guess what? I have a special guest. My guest is my daughter-in-law, Laurie. Laurie is going to be uh, working on a craft of a different kind today for all of us. Laurie, introduce yourself. Hi everybody, welcome to Colorful Colorado and happy fall. It's the first day of fall officially with the fall equinox and we are here in Colorado and we just want to say welcome to John Paul and I's house in our home and we are so happy to have you guys here and today we are going to make espresso martini and since John Paul doesn't really like coffee and espressos. <laughs> Uh, we are making him a chai teeny. So we're going to make two it's, different... It's a personal preference. It is a personal preference. So we're going to make two different um, chai espresso chai teeny kind of things, which will be really fun. Audience. And we also have in the audience, my Hanito, y'all. He's here in the audience playing low key in the background. And we're here to celebrate his 70th birthday. Yay! Yay. Yay. Happy birthday, Louis. Hanito, they birthday. didn't even see you, but that's okay. Well, technical support today. <laughs> technical support, right. Exactly. Friends, who else here? I saw Bonnie Overman. I saw Andrew Bishop. I saw Elenita. Um, who like else? Candace, who are we? Candace. Hi, Candace. Rebecca Cooper. Rebecca, thanks for being here. Melanie Quinn. Hi, Melanie. She's asking for Eric, but unfortunately, Eric is not here today. Oh, we so have his beautiful brother, John Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a little biased, but he's gorgeous yes. over we here. We are in Colorado, so um, we are having a great time. Friends, we've had the best time ever since we got here Tuesday. And um, we are ready to show you how to make this drink. Well, my daughter-in-law is going to show you, but um, I'm, it's going to be amazing because everything she makes and cooks and bakes is amazing. <laughs> so here we go. Are you ready to get started? All right, let's do it. No, say? Joe, let's do it. Let's <laughs> absolutely get started. So we're going to start with the espresso martini. So everybody loves it. It's a big thing. I've actually personally have never had it outside of my house, so I'm a little biased that mine's the best but I've heard rumors that it is fantastic. So it's really, really easy. You only need a couple ingredients. So you just need coffee liqueur. You can do any coffee liqueur. This is in a Kahlua bottle, but you can buy anything that's cheaper, whatever, Co any coffee liqueur. You need a really good vodka. It's very vodka based, like an actual martini. So get any vodka that's your favorite. This is Van Jack, which is actually a Colorado um, local um, vodka that's distilled here in Colorado. And I love to support my local companies, so I go with that. There you go, friends. That's what it looks like. Van Jack. I don't know where you can get it, but here in Colorado, it's all over the place. I love it. It's fantastic. You just need espresso. I'm going to tell you. The easiest way to make espresso martinis, because your espresso has to be chilled, is just get cold brew espresso blend, cold brew drink, whatever. You can buy it. There's tons of them. Starbucks makes them. This is a brand. I don't, it's in the Do refrigerator. Do you have it in the fridge? I was yeah, going to say, let's you grab show it in the them. fridge. This is what I use. You can buy it at any Maybe local grocery store. Vanna White. I know my Vanna White, yeah. <laughs> Stoke, Stowak. I don't know how to, there you go. No, other side. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. But yes. it's, so it's cold brew coffee, but I get the espresso blend. I think that's really think important. Stoke. stoke. There you go. So I obviously you can't see, read or friends, pronounce things. apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I know. Tree. It's whatever. <laughs> honest to God, whatever you want. And you could just use any cold brew coffee, but I like the espresso blend. I'm kind of biased. I really like my coffee strong Ooh. and dark and flavorful. So that's why I go with this. But espresso martini, you're looking for espresso, right? So use espresso blend. Or you can blend your own coffee from home, from the pot. You can do it from a pod. Whatever you want to do, just make sure it is cold. So if you're planning on making an espresso martini, brew that coffee in the morning and then make your espresso martini 30 minutes after because it will be cold coffee. So if you're looking for something for that cold coffee, this is your cocktail to make. And I won't judge you if it's one or two 
or 11, or if you get up at 5 and it's 7 a.m., do whatever your little heart desires. Guess there you go. Here. Who's watching? Debbie. Debbie! I love you, Debbie. Hi. <laughs> Yay, Debbie's here. That's exciting. Uh, um, so then, so that's all you need. And then this is kind of optional, but I think this adds the most zhuzh and bang for your buck. It is a simple syrup. So in any cocktail, you will always hear people that say simple syrup. That is equal parts water to equal parts sugar. And usually it's white table sugar. So if you do a third of water, you're going to do a third of sugar. You put it in a pot, you boil it, let it simmer for a little while, turn off the heat, mix it around, let it cool completely. Then you can put it in anything you want. I'm a, obviously a big fan of mason jars. So you can put it in a mason That's jar a and you can store this in the refrigerator for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. But since we were doing coffee, right. I made my own type of simple syrup and it is a brown <laughs> sugar vanilla simple syrup. So easy. So today, tell me how you made it this morning. So this is how much it makes. And I did a third of a cup of brown sugar to a third of a cup of water into a pan. Oh, so it's a one to one ratio, it's a, no matter what size. Exactly. It's a one to one ratio. So if you want to make a bunch, if you're going to make a botch, batch, botch, botch. A, a batch <laughs> cocktail, <laughs> a botch, hey, you're going to botch. I botch a lot of things. Okay. A batch cocktail, you can do a cup of sugar, a cup of water. It doesn't matter. A fourth of a cup of sugar, a fourth of a cup of water if you don't want to use as much. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. It just has to be equal part sugar, equal part water. And again, I use the brown sugar. And, and then, then and then you put that in the in the pan and you let it simmer for a long time. As soon as it bubbles and it does its thing, you turn it off. And then I add to my heart's desire vanilla. For the I comments. don't measure vanilla. I just comments. pour it in. It smells amazing. <laughs> and then it becomes very viscous and that is your simple syrup for this recipe and you know i asked laurie this morning i said how much vanilla do you measure to put in it and he said he said she I said mean, she <laughs> honey don't move said she's been sipping already. he said she <laughs> said we said i promise we have not been drinking yet but that's not uh, true well this yet this we have okay she owned it <laughs> Really we're not in yeah. Italy. I oh. lost my train of thought. Oh. You measure vanilla with your Oh, heart. and she said that she never measures vanilla. She just, that's what makes everything that she bakes and everything that she cooks yeah. and everything that she uses vanilla in. That's what makes it so great. You, me you measure vanilla with your heart, not a spoon. So a corazón. That's how it works. And then because it is officially the first day of fall, we had to pull out the pumpkin pie spice. I love the pumpkin. So we're actually making pumpkin pie espresso martinis. Okay, so, read me some comments. Yeah, let's, I know, we need to, let's talk with our people. <laughs> friends. Hi, friends. Hello. All right, Rebecca Cooper's on. Well, we said that already. Hello, Rebecca. Elena. Rebecca, are you ready for a drink? Because I'm ready for a drink. Elena. Should we get this going? Elena, say that. Hi, Elenita. Elenita's our friend from Midland. Uh, Polly. Oh, okay. uh, Miss McNeil says someone has already been in the vodka. No, I maybe. Do you have a friend named Hippie Child? Yes, Hippie Child. I'm so happy you're here, friend. So you're. A lot of people have those I think weird. Has any questions. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions? Not yet. Everybody's just waiting for the cocktail. And well, I can between her and that. I, I mean, I would just say. Time out. I know. <laughs> so normally people have those little double face things for cocktails. What do you mean and double face it, And it, it doesn't tell you it's what the ounces measuring. are. It's an ounce oh. measuring, but it doesn't have on there the actual ounce. One, this little cup right here tells you the ounces, milliliters, everything, it's beautiful. It's just a glass little cup. You can order it online. It's fantastic. So we're gonna do our, our ounces and measurements in there. So we have a beautiful martini shaker right here and we have added ice to it already so you want to fill it up with ice it's nice and cold we're going to take our little how much ice did you put in it measure it with your heart all just it's about halfway about halfway you want the ice is going to make it nice and frothy and foamy so i like to add more ice to get it going because it's kind of and it's going to dilute your drink a little bit which 
which is good. So we have our ounces. So you're gonna take your vodka, your favorite vodka, whatever you want, does not matter. You are going to do two ounces of vodka. So here we go. Go, 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 go. We're going two ounces of vodka. And she goes. Wow, that seems like a lot. No. <laughs> seems like it's just Measure it with your heart, my friends. And you okay, know what? If you want to go read. four ounces, I'm not judging you. I have maybe done that on a snowy day. Your, <laughs> uh, this is your coffee liqueur. It says Kahlua. I'm not going to lie. It's not Kahlua. It is a local, cheap coffee liqueur you can buy anywhere. Just make sure it's coffee liqueur. It's rum and coffee whatever. Okay. I, don't. These non, I was um, going to say. Alcoholic? No, 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 alcoholic. Uh, don't ask this person that question. <laughs> okay. Let me non, ask you something. Oh, oh, you mean like. Caffeine free. Not caffeine free. Okay. If you want to do this caffeine free, brew a decaf coffee and use that. It does not there matter. It just needs to be room temperature or cooled. So brew a decaf coffee, throw it in the refrigerator for a while so it's nice and cold, and then still use the two ounces. I'll tell you, we'll put the recipe up of the decaf brewed because I'm telling you, I'm going to be up all night with this. <laughs> so this, this is like a going out drink. This is like 11 o'clock drink, a 12 o'clock drink in the afternoon. Maybe not so much because none of us, none of us are in our twenties anymore. The main purpose of the drink is if you're starting to doze off, but you're drinking. Oh yeah. This no, this is a twenties. This, this is a twenties like, drink. This is to get you ready for the, the club. This, this is, is a like club drink. This is like the Gatorade version of when you're about to go out. 100%. But this is, but for all of us old people, this is, this is the new, um, mimosa. Oh, really? This is the new mimosa. We had mimosas this morning. They were real good. We did. So you're going to go one ounce of your coffee liqueur. Perfect. Okay, my question was, how expensive is this bottle of Kahlua? Well, Kahlua is really expensive. That's not expensive. I mean, that's not real the Kahlua. It, de I, it depends where you are and what you is. You know me. Give I, us a range. You got to, I don't know, you find you, you do you, you go to your liquor store and whatever. And now this we have our, okay. Right. Okay, yeah. there now you have your simple <laughs> syrup. We're going half an ounce of our vanilla, our, this is our vanilla, um, brown, sugar. brown sugar, simple syrup. Okay, Hanito, you better be reading some comments. And I almost oh. forgot the most important part of our espresso. <laughs> now we're going to go, you can go two, three ounces. Honestly, really, you can zhuzh it up. So we'll just go like two, two and a half ounces, maybe to like kind of, you know, give it some life here. And again, that's going to make your drink go a little bit further. Okay. So we have literally our three, four ingredients, right? Our vodka, our <laughs> coffee liqueur. We had our coffee. And again, it doesn't have to be espresso. You can do coffee. You can do whatever you want. And also, you guys, this is optional too. You don't have to do a simple syrup. It just elevates it but i'm going to tell you this coffee liqueur already has sugar in it so if you want more sugar just add more coffee liqueur and then you know so it's you one don't stone. have to have the simple syrup you don't have to have the simple syrup okay. it just adds a little something extra but you're okay. fine now the secret lots of ice right and you want this steel or it doesn't matter but shaker. a shaker and we're going to shake it for 30 seconds do not skimp that is how you get the beautiful foam top on the espresso yeah, martini. The cool. Are we ready? Okay. Are we ready? Here we go. 30 seconds. What are the comments? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. We are done. We pop the lid off. Beautiful. You so go far, quick. No questions. Everybody must understand you. <laughs> they understand the assignment. You go quick. That's how you get the foam. Can they see it? Are we? It's a good question. Yes. Is this a good? Yeah, We're going. Good. You got to shake, shake, shake. Get the good stuff out. You want the foam. The foam kind of sits in the ice. So see all that that came out? Mm. Patience, my friends. 
Looks good. See that? You want the it foam. It kind of looks like something from Starbucks with the foam on top. And I'm going to tell you, if you want to go to Starbucks and get a double shot of espresso, beautiful. Again, you just have to let it cool down. You can go to your local, maybe not Starbucks, but go to your local coffee shop and order espresso and you can make these with the espresso out of that. We brew our own espresso here at our house because we pretend like we're, we're Italians. And... It is fantastic with fresh fruit espresso, I have to say. It gives it that extra oomph, zhuzh. Mm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So we go support your local coffee shops. I was a barista for a very, very long time in high school. So go support your local that coffee shops. That's why you like this drink so much. <laughs> yeah. Brands, do we have anybody new to the channel? Uh... If we do, let's welcome them, friends. Yeah, shout outs. Yes. Normally we're doing craft project, but today this is a project of a different that's kind a, because a I'm in Colorado and I'm with my daughter-in-law and she, she makes fantastic <laughs> drinks. Yeah, she's like my friend Susan that doesn't... Okay, this so look craft. at this gorgeous foam on the top and you have the layers. It's beautiful. It's delicious. That Normally so at pretty. a bar, they will top it with three espresso beans, which is good luck in Italian to top it. Really? Where do, where, I why only, don't we have three because, beans? Because I only have the ground. I don't oh, own darn. espresso that's not. But I, t I either top it with oh, chocolate it shavings good. or chocolate. But today, again, it's the first day of fall. So we're doing I can pumpkin already. pie spice. Oh, so we're sweet. just going to add a little bit over it. Edie Comenza. Hi, Edie. How are you? And that's it. That is our final, can they, hello, final product. Get it back a little bit. Gorgeous. That is it. Joe, that is yours. <gasps> oh my goodness. Who has one already made? Cheers. <laughs> the magic of TV. Cheers. Tell me what you think. Okay. Mine's been sitting for like 30 minutes. You love it? Oh my gosh. This is so good. That's your first espresso martini. Okay, don't. It's I know it's the pumpkin pie on top. Ooh, it's it is. So <laughs> Just judge it around. My, my daughter will love mm. No peer pressure in this house. Yum. That is my Somebody favorite drink in the world. Yum. Barbara said yum. Oh my goodness. Isn't that good? You cannot really taste the alcohol. It you just can't tastes, taste anything. It tastes like a pumpkin spice coffee. That's pumpkin what it, spice latte. Latte, yeah, there you go. And like I said, you don't have to put oh, the pumpkin spi spice on it. You don't have to put anything and just drink it. But the, the you smell more of the pumpkin than you, like, taste it. Oh, it I smells so good. Like, Friends, I crazy. wish you could smell this. This smells just... And this is normally served in a martini glass, right? But yes, normally it's in a martini glass. I don't well, do martini glasses. But you, get, but you get the scent more when you, you have do. it. You do. Like, so we do these in either wine... But that's the beauty of it, because I guarantee you none of you have... Well, um, Cosmo glasses. But, but what she's not telling you is normally she makes it with this glass. Ah. And normally she fills it up to like right <laughs> here. So like normally it's like doubled or quadrupled oh, wow. and we do that. But these are great. These are just red wine glass. I make margaritas in these. I do red wine, white wine, my martinis. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, you don't have to have a martini glass to make and enjoy a martini. This is delicious, friends. I wish you could taste this. This is delicious. So that was our martini. So now we're gonna make the yeah. chai teeny. You what? Honey, do we, need any, do we have any? Does Lewis get one? Yeah, Lewis is right there. Come here. Too. We can try it. Come well, here, Because I wanna make yours. I know, it's the magic of now, Yeah, we're TV. gonna. But what, is, what is his? His is an espresso martini, oh, me too. We, we need, we need one more for you. Well, we're making, that's yeah, what we're about to it? give. Cheers. Cheers Here, try dear. it. We didn't do cheers. I'm so sorry. I'm Forgot. just drinking. Oh. <laughs> she needs an empty glass. She's about to, do you like that's it? Right. Isn't that that's taste? caffeine taste to it. Well, because it's a coffee. Okay. It's an espresso. <laughs> the caffeine is the espresso. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hardcore coffee. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. I think that's why they're on I board am. for the wine glass version, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Like we I said, love it. You're not going to go to sleep. So here we go. But yeah, I need to wake up early. Cheers, from people. cheers okay. friends. We wish you could be here with us oh, in Colorado. Oh, I know. I wish you could be here. And what and do you call it? Leaf creeping? Creeping? Oh. What do you call it? Oh. You learned a new word today. I learned, learned a new, new word. word this week. I am an official leaf peeper. Yeah. 
Right? Just because we drove to Idaho <laughs> Springs and we went up into the mountains to show them the aspens and all the, the leaves the, changing and the fall colors. It is colors beautiful up here. We have spent uh, the last few days here in Colorado and, and in Castle Rock. Uh, and it is just so beautiful and the mainly the weather. Oh, it is so nice and cool compared to uh, the Metroplex area. The highs so, are like 72, oh, mornings this, are 48. It was so nice and cool and we just uh, did a lot the last couple of, well, since we've been here since Tuesday. Um, who else is on, Hanito? Uh, Miss Bittersweet. Hey, Veronica, how are you doing? Melanie Quinn. Hi, Melanie. <laughs> Rebecca Cooper. Wow. I think he likes Rebecca your name, likes Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca loves the weather. Rebecca, come visit. Yes, you must come, come visit. visit. Okay, okay, so, so now. I'm just going to get started on so another So for one. all of you people that maybe don't love the taste of coffee, don't want the caffeine. What do you mean, you people? I mean, for, you for, people. For all of My you. My handsome man behind the camera who does not all like of coffee. You wonderful crafters in yes. my group. But there are some people that just don't like coffee. And that's Fair okay. Because I married yeah, someone who doesn't love coffee. Hey, Jared. Jared, Jared oh. I wish you were here. You the would love one? this. He one. would not like that because Jared does not like coffee. Jared no, would maybe. Not. Jared not. likes coffee. Jared, you drink coffee? No, this is my friend from Australia. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry, Jared. <laughs> Wrong, Jared. Mazel tov, Jared. Awesome. Awesome. Make an espresso martini and you will not be. Jared, she thought it. I thought I was it was brother in law, Jared. Yeah. This not, is very confusing. Not Australian, Jared. So there's some people who don't like coffee. And that's okay. Okay, so here we go. My non-coffee drinkers, I love you. Listen up. Because I we told go. her, you need to have something for we, I, So I made this up, and I'm sure it's so a thing, good. but I kind of made it up because I love espresso martinis, and my sweet, sweet husband does not drink coffee, and he loves chai tea. Loves chai tea. So I said... Let me think about what I can make for him that he would like, that we could both enjoy. And I came up with the chai teeny. I'm sure that's a thing. It's not copyrighted. Oh, so it's not a real, but I, a real name? It's not a real name. I, I, it I made it up. I literally Why made this up. Me? <laughs> so I'm like a chai teeny. He loves chai tea. So he drinks this three to four times a week. And it is called Sherpa Chai, which is a Colorado Boulder based company, and it's fantastic. I don't know where you can buy this. I don't you know if you can buy whole, it everywhere. Whole can you buy it at Whole Foods? You might be able to find it at Whole Amazon. Foods and on Amazon. But Sherpa Chai is literally one of the best, and he is a snob when it comes to chai tea. But this is chai tea concentrate. Okay, so you're going to buy this huge bottle, but you they mix it. And they make a bottle. small concentrate also, but you have to mix this with milk or water or whatever because it's very strong. This is not just the chai that you buy at the grocery store. So, and he loves you the don't honey. Drink it straight. The honey vanilla. They have a spicy one, they have a regular one, they have a bunch of different flavors. He loves the honey vanilla, but the Sherpa chai. Let's support this company. I don't know who the heck they are. I've never <laughs> met them, but I think they're fantastic <laughs> and they're local. Boulder. No, no, but where the... the I think they from? give money back to Nepal. Oh! Do you want me to read it? No, that's okay. I was born in Sigma, a small village, Mount Everest, region of Nepal. Okay, so the, the person, person that actually land. made this is actually from Nepal. He's oh. from Nepal. Oh, right. So he's a Sherpa, and he's been to Mount Everest several, several, several times. It took him three hours to hike to school every day, and he made this. Let's support our friend from... Mount Everest. Sherpa Mount Chai. Everest. Everybody oh. buy Sherpa Chai tea. Let's make this guy bloody rich. Concepts okay. Concepts from Montreal, Canada. Hey, friend. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. We so, appreciate you. I have already made the concentrate here. So I did for this recipe, I did one part Sherpa Chai. The vanilla, honey vanilla is fantastic with one part milk. Whole Jump milk. home. Well, you can go whole milk. We only have 2% milk, but we use like moo moo cow milk. What's moo moo cow milk? Like we are not hippy dippies. We love, we love milk, dairy. Okay. Support your dairy farmers. They're moo -moo great milk. too. Oh, okay. We're not going, we're not going almond milk. We're not going. You could though. You could, you could add anything to it. Well, some people's tummies are, some people's I know. Tummies you could are literally, literally so but so th th that's the beauty of this. There's no dairy in this. You just add this to whatever milk 
you want to it. So the reason one, I was asking about the milk is because some people's tummies are sensitive I know, to milk. I know. Whole milk. I, yeah, no, I know. But that's why you get the concentrate because there's no dairy in okay. it. It's just the chai. And then so what we did, so when you make this recipe for the chai latte, chai teeny, you do one part of the concentrate to one part milk. So it's one ounce of this to one ounce milk. If you want it a little bit bigger, you could do two ounces of Sherpa chai to two ounces of milk. So that's four ounces total that you're gonna put in here. Yes, can I get a little bit? Here, just throw that out because that's a little soupy. <laughs> it's kind of watery. We don't throw want water. So I've already made this. So I did two ounces of the Sherpa chai with two ounces of milk already in here. And then we're just gonna add. And this is non-alcoholic, right? Oh, no alcohol at all. It's okay. just, it's just chai. At this point, it's non-alcoholic. Okay. At this point, there's no alcohol. We'll but you have that. to make. If you buy the concentrate, you have to make the mix because if you just put this in there, like this is spicy. There's no. You've got to put the milk. And that'll make it tummy. Or hard. water. You could do milk. You know. Oh, Maybe again, water. you could do oat milk. You could do water. You could do any anything that you wanted to. Any kind of milk. But the milk makes it really creamy and delicious. So you want to do milk. But again, like you, you can do oat milk, Karen almond Bar milk. Karen Baronis. Oh, hi, Karen. Karen yeah. is from Sweden. Oh. oh. Thanks for being Karen. here. Welcome from Sweden. That's for just a few more. We had a little bowl ready to is go. Is Kenneth Fuller here? Yes. Hi, Kenneth. I'm so glad you're here, sweet friend. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So. Same thing what we did with the espresso, right? We added, I actually did three ounces of espresso, so we're gonna do three ounces of our concentrate. So if you wanna do three ounces of your concentrate, you could put one and a half of this, one and a half of milk straight into here, and you just pour it in there. So we're going, we'll just, John Paul likes it milky. That looks like chocolate milk. It is delicious. So mm. I'm telling you, Sherpa chai, friends, Sherpa chai. Let's support mm -hmm. our Let's support our local people. Okay, again, your favorite vodka, whatever you desire. Again, it's two ounces. Two ounces of your favorite vodka going in. Adios. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a non-alcoholic. Oh gosh, no. Oh, okay. You thought so wrong. <laughs> but I get for thinking. <laughs> no, 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 no. This you is could, it's though, all alcoholic. You could, Lauren, could you just skip, skip this step, I guess? Why then that's just a chai tea? I don't, no, it's just a chai it, tea, okay, so, okay. so I don't so know. So this is just a boozy chai tea. You can just shake, shake, shake as much as you want and what it'll is, be whatever. Okay, now what is this that you Okay, put? so since John Paul does not like coffee, we're not gonna use coffee liqueur because it tastes like coffee. I'm sorry, that is sticky and we're just gonna, that's fine, over there. We're gonna use any kind of Irish cream. You can use Yummy. Bailey's. I like St. Bernadans, I don't know. It's all the same thing. Any Irish cream you can find at your local liquor store, doesn't matter, just Irish cream. So again, we have our Sherpa chai with any kind of milk that you want, milk, milk substitute. Yes. We have our vodka, and then we are using our coffee, or uh, I'm sorry, our Irish cream instead of coffee liqueur. And again, it's one ounce. One ounce of coffee liqueur. I'm so, oh my gosh, the Irish cream. I promise I'll get this right. It's, and so we use one ounce of this for the other stuff. That goes in, and we're gonna add our simple syrup again. And that's just half an ounce. A little bit of love, very sticky, and that's it. And then we're just going to pop our lid on. And again, it's filled with nice ice, nice and cold. And you shake 30 seconds. Make sure I don't fall over. Where I need my maracas. <laughs> Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And you do it because look at this beautiful froth and foam. It looks like chocolate milk. Again, you kind of have to dilute it with ice cream, like a milkshake. But it's so much better than milk. Mm.
And you have to kind of go back and forth because it gets stuck in the ice. And... But my friends, that is your chai tini. That has zero coffee in it. This is a drink that you could drink in the evening if you're worried about well, staying up all night. That chai does? It's a tea. Well, does yeah. it have... Maybe a little bit of caffeine, but it's, it's not your espresso that you're going to be running around all night with your... Am I going to be running around all yeah, night? Yeah, we're going to be running around all night. <laughs> I know. I thought about that a lot. Well, it doesn't I have matter. to wake up early anyway because we have to catch a flight early tomorrow. And then we're not only going to make it a chai teeny, but we're going to make it a pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pie spice teeny. And we are going to have the most picky person in the entire world come taste this my polly so i'm gonna let you sit stand next to your mom and you try that for me oh, polly. he is very picky <laughs> it looks delicious it looks delicious good quality good good color got good legs on it <laughs> yeah yum Friends, this is my kid perfect. that thank you perfect this is my kid that You're went so to welcome. school i told on you that you went to school and told everybody I drank beer all day. <laughs> was one time. He was four mm, years old. Never let you forget it. <laughs> is that good? It's delicious. Just good, like it. good. I usually like them a little taller, but other than that. Well, time, yeah, like that's it. a little. I don't know Appreciate what this it. lit goes I gotta to. I go back and man the camera. Yes, Friends, go man the camera. But my that's son, it. John Paul, my daughter-in-law Laurie. They've been wonderful. Does and anybody have any questions, any comments, any concerns to these drinks that we <laughs> yeah, just made? What are we? Yeah, Lewis, come Torino on. Torino 3 is a little bit late. <gasps> no, but no no tardy slips on this channel. Yes. Friend, we're just glad you're here, but you missed out on... And you know what? We, uh, we will post the recipes for all of this. The ounces, what you're supposed to do, this and this. And again, all, if you want like the Sherpa chai stuff, we'll put that on there. Um, but it's all basic. Again, it's just, it's kind of whatever your heart feels like. Lori, what's your Instagram? I'll type it in here. And underscore miles to go. Friends, I keep telling my daughter-in-law she <laughs> needs to start her own either Facebook group page or mm, a, a YouTube channel because she is fantastic uh, about, she, everything is homemade that she makes and she comes up with her well, own Sit right there. If anybody would follow me, I'm going <laughs> to... I don't know what she's doing. I, she's unpredictable. This is but, very unpredictable. Okay. Okay. Come on. Tell them. Because I'm just going to share this because it's really cool. Okay. She's going to share something with y'all. These are my grandma and my great-grandmother's recipes. Handwritten. Recipes? Well, All their recipes. Would anybody be interested in cooking through these with me? If I cooked through, and they're all handwritten, they're all recipes from the 1900s. She'll start a channel or a page. If anybody would follow me to cook. Lord, what are some of the recipes? That That's what about? I was okay, going to say. Okay, so that is my grandmother. So People are saying, yes. Yes, yes. So, we would cook through Lorena. these. I will literally cook through these online if people would follow me because I would love to cook through the decades of. And, and even if I don't cook, uh, what says, she's yes. yes okay so i'm going to tell you a little bit about this is my great great grandmother marion cook flanders she was married to william flanders in march of 1927 and lived and raised her family in new jersey she cooked the great depression and with rationing during world war ii her husband had a sweet tooth and dessert was available for dinner for every dinner they ate rather bland food with meat potatoes and vegetables most nights. Ethnic foods were not on the menu. So I'm sorry if you're oh like, but she was born in 1902 to 1960, and that's her. That's my great great grandmother. Look at this. And these are all of her recipes in her handwriting. Look at this handwritten uh, recipe. It's taco pie. Taco, taco it, pie. It's yeah. gotta be good. And that's my grandmother. So this is. Is this Doña? No, no, no. This is so. This is my Margaret Flanders, which is oh, my. Oh, that's your other grandma. This is my dad's parents, and so these, this, this side, this whole entire box is of my grandmother. She was born in 1931, 2014, and these are just all of her recipes. And this is my great great grandmother's recipes, and she was born in 1902. So, if you guys 
would be interested in cooking through these recipes with me, that would be really, really fun. Oh, I, just I think don't. that would... You guys might be back here in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, we're going to be yeah, back. Yeah, they'll be back here in a couple of weeks, so we can pick out two or three recipes, and we can cook through them with you guys live. And then maybe we can um, put up a couple recipes and ask you guys which ones you want to cook through and see. And a lot of them are measured with your heart, like it says... A tablespoon of butter for sugar, which doesn't make sense because you're measuring the sugar, but they're talking about she a tablespoon of butter. She just needed this little boost. Please. I know, I did. But this is kind of what I want to do and go for, but I just don't have a lot of support through it. So if you guys want to watch us cook through... I think this would be great. It'd some be fun great. recipes. That would be fun. And obviously, we will drink through them as well. We can make a cocktail you know what? in between. There used to be a and... show that I loved, and it was called Almost Homemade with Sandra Lee. Mm -hmm. And she always had, oh, I watch you know, her. Uh, her menu. At, and she always had a cocktail to go yeah. with her Oh, we'll menu. definitely make a cocktail. Oh, that, I think that would be so interesting. And we'll, we can find a cocktail from, like, 1900s. Which yes. maybe just be whiskey. And I could do the decorative craft to go with it. Anyway, yeah. oh, so. talking about crafts, friends, going forward, oh. hopefully, uh, we we plan to be back home. Um, hopefully, we're, we're going to leave tomorrow and be back on schedule for Tuesday. Right, Honito, maybe? Right, Honito. For Tuesday. <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to start off. I got a lot of messages and requests that you want to see me. Uh, two things. Uh, the salt dough uh, ornaments, the Christmas ornaments, you want a tutorial on those. Solid and one. also um, the tiles, the little coaster tiles, you want to see me pour the resin on them and, and also on the ornaments. So that's going to be on the schedule for sure. But meanwhile, I've got lots of other things that uh, I'm still not finished with Halloween. However, I'm ready to start on some more gingerbread crafts. And um, so I'll be posting pictures and I'll be feeling you out as far as what do you want me to do and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, for the next couple of weeks, I think we're going to be on schedule except for the third week. We'll be back over here. So anyway, friends, we're so excited that, you, that you've joined us. Honey, so how many people are on? Over 70. Oh, that's great because well, Saturday welcome, is welcome busy. to my home. You guys are all in my house, and yes. we appreciate you being here. And welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just so happy to open up our house. Friends, here in you are our family, everybody. and we love you. And I never get tired of telling you that. <laughs> Thank you for your love and support. And uh, we're gonna. Do we have a lighter to match to light the? Oh the, yeah, we the have candles. Lighter. We're gonna sing Happy Birthday to my Hanito since uh, he's. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have been able to keep on going with the channel uh, due to Eric cake. being so busy. My Eric. Here, Louis. Louis. Lewis. What? Just oh, we need the hats. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> here. And I guess I'm entertaining all of you. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, because Linda. Linda. But really, welcome, Linda. you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you okay. for tuning in and crafting cocktails with us because I'm not a crafty person. <laughs> I do cocktails, not crafts. Oh, and we have tiny hats. Again. Oh, goodness. They're very tight. That's it. They're real tight. Look, I have a tiny hat. Tiny hats for tiny Okay, people. friends, and my friend T. Oh. Van B., she sent my Hanito some birthday hats, and she oh. sent him a birthday button and gifts. Ooh, and, a lot of years. and I know he's still got something from Candace at the house he hasn't opened, but... We love you and we appreciate you. And let's sing happy birthday to my Hanito. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Louis. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Kumbaya. Go out, friends. Hey, T. Van B., I know you're watching. Thank you for the button and thank you for the hats. <laughs> Hanito, make a wish. Yay! Yay! Now we get to eat more cake. Friends, uh, like I said, thank you for joining us. Um, we'll be back uh, Tuesday again. And um, does anybody have any questions? Cheers, These my, are cheers my dears. Birthday, cheers, my dears. Yeah, any questions, any concerns? I know, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Louis is going to be running. I'm going to send Louis down to the backyard with a tent tonight. He's not sleeping in my house. Friends, my son. 
as he said, <laughs> cheers, Lewis. And my son said, Lewis already snorted his drink. <laughs> we hope okay. to see you guys soon. Yes, friends. Yeah. Thank you for supporting my Lori and my Polly. And um, thank you for all your love and support. And remember, friends, always, always believe in yourself and don't be afraid to follow your dreams. Love you, friends. Oh, wait, before I forget, Leslie Waterman, are you on? Is there a Leslie Waterman that come up by any chance? No, she had a birthday on the same day as you did. Woo! Happy so, birthday, Leslie! Yeah. You are Leslie! <laughs> Anybody else have a birthday? Who has a birthday? Anybody have a birthday this month or next month? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's fall, y'all. I'm in the spirit, you know. Birthday chair. You got two months. Uh, Hippie child wants to be adopted into this house. Oh, hippie, hippie child, child. join come us. On. Come, come, come. You friends. Can't handle it, hippie child. You can't handle it. <laughs> Did you hear my sound? Hippie child, you might need a lot of these to be in this family. Oh, Tia's on. Tia! 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 Oh, Tia. Did she see? Did, did, Tia, Tia, did you Ed see Myers. the. Tia, she Tia is her aunt. Tia is my sweet, sweet, sweet we aunt. We love her. And Tia gifted me these gorgeous recipes. She's Ann Myers. Well, she's Ann Myers. We call it Tia because she um, studied abroad in Spain for a long time. And Tia, I'm going to tell, tell them that she thought that Aunt Anne sounded really stupid. And so she's like, have them call me Tia because Tia is aunt in Spanish. And, and Tia, what color hair do you have today? She is so is it pink, cool. purple. She always has different colored hair. Tia, what color is your hair? Louis, did she say anything? She hadn't said nothing. Okay. Well, well, she'll say we're something. We're so happy that you're on. But pink, pink, pink. pink. Yes. yes. Tia. Yes. But <laughs> so, and my, my sweet aunt, my, my sweet Tia, she's the one that gave me these gorgeous boxes with recipes. She is thank the one you, Tia. that gave me these. So everybody can thank Tia if we start cooking through these recipes with all of you guys. And it I'll, is all up to Tia. And she is a, um, she's a genealogist, a professional genealogist. And she has made endless books and things with our family and has found so much amazing things. And it's amazing to go through she's our past very, and our history. Very, very interesting And person. so this is all up to Tia. So I think we should all give a big whoop whoop to Tia. And, I, and I think on. we should all cook through these together. So, Friends, all of y'all that were on, I'd like to mention one other thing. Um, two of you that were waiting on creepy babies that y'all want them, no. uh, I got a confession to make. Uh -uh. We mailed them, my honito mailed them, what, uh, the Friday before we left or some, sometime during the week. I can't even remember. But I had two boxes that my friend, my friend Susan, my bestie, gave me. And that were perfect for the yeah, for, were, were perfect for the, the no, creepy baby. And I decorated <laughs> them and I mailed one to to uh, Kay and the other one to um, to I can't remember uh, Sean maybe um, Shauna. No, I can't think of the name right quick. But anyway, they came back. They went to Susan's house because she didn't take off her address label on the side. On the side. Well, she didn't or you did it? Well, she didn't. She gave, <laughs> she gave me the boxes. She knew I was going to mail them. Oh, and she no, didn't I take did. her label off of them. It doesn't matter. Them. That's on you, did she maybe. Did put the on it, too? No, your, your dad went and mailed them. He didn't Burn. notice. Oh, Burn. my goodness. But anyway, as soon as I get home, right. I've got things to mail to Amy Timmers and to UK and to my other winner of the Creepy Baby. Mm -hmm. And... Friends, we're thank wrapping you. it up. We love we you. Love Tia, you. I love you so much. Hi. That's my only person Bye, on friends. here that I know. We love you, and I'll see you Tuesday. Bye. God willing. Love you. Love and hugs and prayers for everyone. Cheers, my dears.